Hi, this is Stuart Young, uh, author of How to Change Your Life One Day at a Time and the creator of the 90-day home study program, Change Your Mindset, Change Your Life. And today I just wanted to show you a little um, technique that you can use to, to kind of think about why you're not getting the results that you want in your life, in whatever area that might be, relationships, health, achievements, your career, whatever. And I call it the bear cycle. And the bear cycle stands for your beliefs about your expectations, which then follow on to the actions that you take and the results that you get. And the easiest way to demonstrate this is to draw a circle with a cross in it, and your beliefs are up here, right at the top, because they're already established. They're established when you go to school and you get certain results at school, higher education, etc. You go to college, university, whatever. Then you get a job, and you know it might be the job that you like, might not be, but the, you're going to get on so far in that job. The relationships that you get, the health that you that you that you acquire and achieve, all of these things start to set up the belief that you have about yourself and about what you can actually do and achieve. So everything starts with your beliefs. Now, when you have a belief about yourself, you create an expectation where you can get to with a certain project, whether you're trying to learn a new skill or whether you're trying to go out with that certain person, whether, you know, because we, we've all got that thing, haven't we, that, oh, that person's out of my league. We, we have an expectation that, that they won't be interested in us for whatever reason. So we have a belief about our expectation about what we can do in any area of our life. And that then directly has a result on the actions we take. So if it's somebody that you uh, that you you know you're interested in, if you feel that they're out of your league, you won't even take the action of going up to them and asking them out, or you know putting yourself in front of them in any way, because you just think, oh, this you know, it's, it's pointless. They they won't be interested in me. Um, or for me, uh, you know, I, I would never uh, enter a marathon because I I have the belief that I can't run a marathon because I haven't trained for it. I mean, I don't really want to run a marathon, but if I did. I would probably start off with the belief that I'd have pretty low expectation about finishing that marathon and I wouldn't take the necessary action to actually get me to that result. But, but now I know how to actually change that belief. If I wanted to run a marathon, I know I could. I would just set things in motion to, to make that happen. So our belief creates an expectation that we have about ourselves and that expectation will lead on to the actions we take and the actions we take will have a direct correlation with the results that we get. And those results, good or bad, will then feed back into our belief about whether we're you know, good enough to, to get that far with whatever it is that we're, we're trying to do. So you can see this is a cycle. Now, we can obviously go round and round and round in this cycle. If we have a particular belief about our expectations, and they might be sort of you know, at a very moderate level, then we'll take the certain actions that we know that are going to get us the results that we want, and that belief will just go round and round. We'll just kind of hover around a certain level. But, but often is the case that our belief about our expectation will create some actions and, it, and we won't get the result that we wanted. And that will turn out to make less results. And we can actually end up spiraling, spiraling downwards because our belief about our expectation is that we take these actions, the actions don't get the results we want, and, we, and our belief goes down about our expectations. Oh, that didn't work. I, didn't, I, I did all this and I didn't get that result. So obviously... You know, I, I was trying to get too much. You know, I had a higher expectation than I should have had. I need to lower my expectations. We, we've all heard that, haven't we? Be, a real, be realistic. Lower your, lower your expectations. What happens is you take less action. You, your action will, will be directly, directly uh, correlated with the kind of results that you're trying to achieve. And if you don't get them again, you go down and down and down. The same can happen upwards. You can spiral upwards. You can have a belief about your expectation. You can take some action. You can exceed in your results. You can get better results than you thought. And then your belief will go up. And you go, hey, I, I did that thing. That was pretty easy, actually. My, my expectations are now higher. I think I could do more. And you take more action, and you get more results, which then increase your belief again. And that, and that can spiral you upwards. Now, here's the thing. If you can get to a place where you can increase your belief about your expectation, when you take action, it doesn't matter what hurdles and barriers get in the way. You now have a very, very, very precise expectation about yourself. 
and you'll take whatever action is necessary to get the result that you want. So whatever happens in the way, whatever problems that occur along the way, and they, they always do, we always get little hurdles and barriers coming in. Now, often there's a case that we'll just let those barriers and hurdles stop us from achieving that, that result. But when you have a particular belief about your expectation, you won't let those things get in the way. You, you will actually take all the action necessary to get that result. And therefore, you will actually dictate that you spiral upwards, ever increasing your results, ever increasing your belief about your expectations, taking more action, getting better and better and better results. Now, that's, that's the bear cycle. You, what you've got to figure out is, are you hovering around a certain area, only getting the kinds of results that you're comfortable with? Are you spiraling downwards with the feeling that no matter what I try, it always goes wrong, I'm never getting what I want? Or are you actually spiraling up, spiraling upwards and constantly hitting your targets, achieving the things that you want, um, and, and you actually have a formula for it. You actually know how you're doing it. If you don't know how you're doing it, then as soon as you get to a point where you don't get the results you want, you could end up stagnating or even spiraling downwards again. So it's important, even if you're spiraling upwards now, to understand why and how you're spiraling upwards. And that's all to do with your beliefs. Your beliefs are key to all of it. So anyway, that's my little video for today uh, explaining the, what I call the bear cycle. Um, if you want to know how to change your beliefs and, and dictate your expectations and create the actions that you need to get the results that you want constantly and consistently using a formula, then that's all in my 90-day program, which comes free still with a copy of my book. And that's available if you go and find it it's on my website and it's on Amazon and it, uh, the program comes as a bonus still. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that made a lot of sense. Uh, if you've got any questions or queries, you can always uh, email me at uh, stuart at howtochangeyourlife.com. Sorry, howtochangeyourlife1dayattime.com uh, and I'll answer all those queries for you. Okay, so I hope that was uh, useful to you and I'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.